All right, so we're gonna basically remove the camshafts. First thing you wanna do is uh, take out the spark plug so we can spin the timing chain easier without fighting compression. So what you wanna do is keep spinning the engine until the dot lines up with the colored link right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's darker than the rest. So just keep rotating it. Took about 20 rotations, but we finally got them to line up. So now what you want to do is you kind of want it to aim at like the 11 o'clock position. About right there. Two valve. So what it does is, right, you see how this goes on top of here? So when this goes on here, and this connects over here, that's when it's going to be in top dead center. So we got to keep going. What the hell is shooting a gun right now? That should be it, right? That should be top dead center. There should be a timing mark facing down and the black link should match up with the dot right there this should be approximately like 11 that should be facing right there links are lined up other side links are lined up and now you're in top dead center so if you have the tool part number 525219 it'll connect his little dowel pin right here and that would make sure you're 100 percent top dead center no room for error. If you don't have it, you could just use the timing dots and you'd probably be fine. Now we're ready to remove the tensioners. All right, now we can remove the tensioners. Should just be a 10 millimeter bolt. Break them loose. Grab your snap-on ratchet. Once it pops out, slide it out the way. Just like that. No, it stinks. Oh, God. Oil. Now we could slide this out. And we can remove the passenger side chain. There should be two eight millimeter bolts to remove this ten timing guy. Well, 
other side. So just repeat the steps, right? Same thing. Yep. Two ten mil. And just take off the top one. This bottom bolt's a little longer, a lot longer than the other ones. Now we're ready to do the cams and head studs and also the oil pump.